hello. <laughs> it's visit me, my. It's Monday morning. And uh, that is going to be a good day. And it's 79 degrees already. And it's 915. And I have my cup of coffee. I'm just about to finish my first cup here. And uh, I'm just sitting back here getting ready to read my comments. I'm so excited to get started on those. I slept well last night and I hope you did. Hope you're all feeling good today. Good today. And if you're not, you just keep saying, I'm going to feel good and I'm going to be happy because I know who I am. I know what day it is. And I got my coffee or my Coca Cola or my orange juice or my grapefruit juice <laughs> or something that you love in your ritual in the morning. In the morning. So I think it's good. I really don't. I've got to. I've got to show you something. I know you probably think, well, why would she show us this? But let me show you something. I'm not gonna show it to you yet. And you have to wait just a minute. You wait now, just a minute. Do you know what this is? Can you see it? Can you see it? And it's look how big it's big as almost big as large as my thumb. See, do you know what that is? Come on, you know what that is. That's the first time I've ever seen one like this. Have you seen one like that? And on top of that, I just don't have one. I've got 21 of them. See, here's another one. What are those? Do you know? And they look unique. I don't know if you can see. Let me put it around where the camera is. See if you can. I don't know how to get it to where you can see it. Okay, see how it looks? Sort of dusty looking or something. Do you see it? You know what that is? Well, you're right. That's what they are. And I got a whole bag of them. And they're so large. And by the time I cook one, it's going to be twice that size. These are noodles. There are different kind of noodles from Italy. Don't know what they're called. But it looks like a couple of them. All you need is a couple of them. <laughs> and boil them with a little piece of chicken or fruit or vegetables or you know, make a little macaroni salad with a surprise, you know, whatever. But that's not macaroni, but some kind of pasta, some kind of pasta. My sister's always picking up things at Tuesday mornings. And uh, the last time she broke, brought uh, coconut macaroons, and they were really, really good. In fact, I still got one in there from Satan, like for a rainy day when it rains, if it does. But anyway, I'm going to cook some of this up uh, this week and give it a try, see. But I don't know the name of it. She didn't remember the name. She'd take it out of the bag and put it in her cute little, you know, jars that she has all her little stuff in. Her prostas. But I had never seen any like that. But I've got a, enough for several meals, I think. <laughs> but I thought, I'm going to share that. I bet everybody knows what it is but me. <laughs> And if you got any cute recipes that I think, you know, I, I think just boiling up with salt and pepper and a little butter will probably be perfect, you know. And good morning. Here's, here's Miss Gigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> and Miss, Miss Spot. And uh, my crochet, of course. I wouldn't even have a program if I didn't have comments from all you. <laughs> I wouldn't have even quit and see tear, tear, tear. Oh, here's one. It's the, let me get them all on here. How to figure it out. Get them all. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Okay, wait a minute. It only takes me so long to get the comments up. I don't know why. There we go. <laughs> Bonnie Myers, you're number one again today. You are. This is Bonnie Myers. Tonight, I'm putting the final part of the border on my boho vest, and then I'm going to start a shawl. Today, I made poodles out of beads. Really? What do they look like? Poodles out of beads. Can I look that up on YouTube, or did you invent it? The poodles out of beads. I bet that'd be hilarious. I couldn't hold those little beads. I don't know how you guys do that. Can't work with beads or really fine needles, or I just can't hold them. Maybe I need a magnet. <laughs> Some, those magnet beads are rolled all over my floor, probably. <laughs> Poodles out of beads. Well, leave it to you, Bonnie. Leave it to you. And here's Mary Bell is hooked. Hi, I am subscribed to Pamela. She's a sweetie. Her husband recently died. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't know that. That was sad. Isn't it fun to finish your project? So exciting. Exciting to know you can start something new. I should have several projects going at the same time. That way I don't get bored. Take care. God, you never get bored, I don't think, girl. I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Is all your excitement over? <laughs> With all the traveling and the birthday parties and your son. <laughs> oh, you have to go to work this morning. You did. <laughs> yeah, I still have the project with the kitty cats. I haven't blocked it. I, I just can't figure out how I can block it. It's too big for the board I have, and I don't have another surface except the floor, and I can't put it on the floor. Uh, maybe I can. I don't know if I can or not put garbage bags on the floor. I don't know. I'll work on it, but I just need to block it and get the material and sew it up. I mean, it's almost, it's, it's really quite done. Mimo, you look so fresh and happy today. Good for you. Well, hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Thought I recognized that voice. <laughs> I'm glad you subscribed to Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I started my second basket. It's getting easier and easier. I'm taking a couple of days vacation from the applesauce. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I've got 19 containers in the deep freeze. I'm fixing hamburgers for supper tonight. Oh, it sounds luscious. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me too. I might hit, uh, heat up some leftover homemade vegetable soup to go with it. Love you, Mean Mom. Love you, GL. Oh, carry on. 19 containers. Wow. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa Davis. Good to hear from you. Love you, and I'm back from vacation. Have a great day. Hugs, coffees, hearts, question marks. What's going on? <laughs> Yarn, kitty cats, and sunflowers. <laughs> Uh -uh. Oh, Teresa, 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 back from vacation. You just, you, Mrs. C, just don't keep your feet on the ground, do you? Just keep on going. I think Mary Bell's trying to catch up with you on that. <laughs> Good to hear from you and yours, Teresa. And here's Mrs. C. It's so good to see you on Sunday and laughing. You have such a welcoming laugh. I like the blanket. I'm finishing a granny with purple, then edging it with white double crochet shells. Hmm, that sounds good. We made a list of things to do for tomorrow. The last thing is packing the car. I mean, you're ready to go. You're leaving Tuesday, right? Yeah. It was so nice here today that I took my crocheting out on the deck and worked on the blankets for about an hour. The clouds rolled in, the wind kicked up, and I had tailed it in before the rain got me. Well, good. <laughs> I tailed it. I can see that now. 
<laughs> oh my, I hadn't heard that in a long time, I tell it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to let you know that the dragonflies are gone from the courtyard and the bees are here. Do dragonflies eat bees? I don't know about I better look it up. Hmm. I'll just Google that right now. No, I better not. I got you sidetracked. Good morning, Miss C. And it's going to be a busy day for you, but tomorrow you'll be on the road again. Remember that song? On the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. Was that Willie Nelson? I think it was. Hey, Joy Bird. You're such a likable lady. Love your stories. Would love to sit in the floor at your rocker and crochet with, while listening to your stories. You can learn a lot from somebody as knowledgeable. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> knowledgeable. Um, open mouth, chatter, chatter, chatter for sure. <laughs> But thank you. Thank you. I hope you're doing well, Joy Bird. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Oh, here's, here's Daniel. Visit me, Ma. Hello, hello. Yes, the mashed potatoes were very good. The spuds were mashed with quite a few dabs of butter. A <laughs> teeth of butter. B-U-T-T-A. Butter. <laughs> Tonight for dinner, I will make potato cakes, pancakes, Switzerland style. Man, I got to look that one up. Always put me to work, you guys. <laughs> I'm Googling twin queen right now. I have leftovers for yesterday's unmashed buds. I have leftover yesterday's unmashed buds. They were very cold in the fridge. I will use a coarser, a coarse grater, put the vegetable in a fry pan, fry some onions, then put the grated potatoes in the pan, wait till they crisp golden on one side. We'll eat this with a nice slice of ham. I have learned to cook spuds that way. When I was living in Switzerland, there it's called Rossi, Rossi, R O S T I, with a couple little dots above the O. Very practical way to cook potatoes. No West, <laughs> not a West friendly. I mean, <laughs> what waste? I don't have new West. <laughs> I can have all the potatoes I want. <laughs> oh, not waste <laughs> friendly. How funny. But who cares? <laughs> Stay in the loop. Bye bye for now. Thank you guys for commenting today. So good to hear from you. And all your lives are carrying on. And I'm going to, well, I got my Meals on Wheels coming today. I talked to Gigi on the, the video call this morning. She's recovering. And uh, it's, it's hard when you have a knee replaced or a hub, hubcap replaced. <laughs> you know, you guys, you know all about that. And uh, especially if the doctors mess up on your medicine, sometimes that happens. Throws you into a tailspin, and they don't believe you half the time. Or, that's been my experience, anyway. And here I am trying to figure out where to where I started and where I ended. Oh, I ran out, so I'm going to have to add some more uh, of this color, because I'm going to try to finish it off. I thought I... Oh, I'm unraveling it. Okay, here we go. Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> it's like looking for comments on my laptop. <laughs> The end of my yarn to get it started. <laughs> yeah, I think those noodles are really unique. I'll let you know what they're like and what they're called. Y'all probably, or y'all can let me know what they're called. <laughs> but it sounds like y'all are all too busy to worry about little things like that.
well, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and um, I won't talk any longer. I don't even have a funny I don't have another funny story. What's the matter with my funny story? Oh, I will t Oh, let me tell you a story. I <laughs> my husband and I, we bought one of those uh, 216, 213 houses or something back in 72, I guess it was. 235 houses is what it was houses that were repo uh, by the government and you could buy them for a thousand now or something like that which took every penny that he had inherited which he had inherited two thousand but of course he had to buy a boat first and after he bought the boat then we found this house so it didn't have any windows and the stove was all rusted and you know the, it was just atrocious. The grass in the yard was like four feet tall. <laughs> but anyway, we bought the home and it was our first home. So as the years progressed on the house, I decided one day, since it was all paneling inside, that I would put wallpaper up. So I was working, I was saving a little penny here and there and finally found some wallpaper downtown Little Rock. So I brought the wallpaper home. And I read about well, how do you put your wallpaper up on the paneling. You know, how you use the kelps. And after that, then you, uh, then you start adhering. Back then you used a brush and a bucket with the glue in it. And then you stretch the wallpaper across your dining room, your table, which we had a little Ethan Allen table about this big, you know. And I had it spread out, and I was spreading it and everything, and I put it up on the wall. And I only had the top part I was going to do, and then I was going to put a railing, you know, quarter around, about where the, the chair rail is what I was thinking. In my mind, in this little tiny, it was a $15,000 house at that time. And uh, I'm just going to make it so cute with my Ethan Allen, you know. So anyway, I, I work and I work and I work and it's I work till 10 o'clock at night and uh, my husband didn't help me because he doesn't do that kind of stuff. You know, that's that's not me and things. And so I continued to work and everybody went to bed. The kids went to bed. And I went to bed finally and I was so happy because I had done uh, all the way around here and all the way around here. But I didn't, I had this side yet to do. I had it painted with the cows, but I hadn't brushed and put the wallpaper up yet. And I was so pleased. I said, I remember sitting there looking at it in my chair by the table. It's just like it was yesterday. It's 1973, I think. I said, this is beautiful. It just sort of lit up that dark uh, walls and the kitchen just brightened up. Of course, the cabinets were still that brown uh, panel looking, and uh, but it didn't look too bad with paper. This paper was bright and kitcheny paper. I don't remember, you know, I can't remember what was on there. I think there was a couple of chickens on it, though. I love chickens. But I was so satisfied with myself, and I went to bed. And the next next day. I hear the kids. Now they never get up before I do. You know how cute, you know, they were just kids, little kids, and so they were sleeping in. I could hear them just a laughing and a laughing. Well, you know what happened, don't you? I went to the bathroom and I walked into the kitchen, and every sheet of wallpaper I had put up, yes, it was. It had rolled down to the floor. It looked like somebody was preparing to wallpaper. And they had all their glued rolls all around the wall. I started laughing too because they were laughing. I started laughing too because I was thinking of all the hours of cutting and making sure they match, you know, and moving the wallpaper so it matches just right. <laughs> and then I started to cry. Oh, then I cried. I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know. Now I'm stuck. I've got all this kelts, all this glue, all this stuff all over them. That linoleum floor. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. So I called my sister. I'm pretty sure I called my sister. I said, I don't, I don't let me tell you what happened to me. I don't know. 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 She said, well, just try it again. You did it right. I said, okay, okay, okay. I rescued, you know, kids went out, fixed breakfast, everything around, all wallpaper and blue and stuff like that. And I put that wallpaper up the second time. It did not fall down. Of course, I did use Elmer glue. <laughs> it worked. And it worked until I sold that home. Yeah, 26 years later, when I sold at home that wallpaper was still up. I was determined there was going to stay up there, and it did. So, I guess the, the, my, my video today is tenacity. <laughs> tenacity. We all have tenacity. That's why we're such great crocheters. Uh, remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, our butterflies, and our bees, and for each other, because you're special, we're special, and we're all in this world together. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>